What's going on YouTube? Got about coming at you live and direct from the shack and uh, we are in late December and uh, I wanted to, to share with you guys some upgrades that I recently did to my 2021 Bash Tracker Classic XL. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank the man up above for making all this happen and uh, without the support of my family and my wife and my kids. I wouldn't be able to make these types of uh, changes. Um, I also want to make a shout out to Bonner Lacefield Marine in Madera, California. Uh, Justin was the representative to uh, help me and assist me in making these decisions. Of course, I did my own research. Um, and also Angel, who was the installer who uh, quite craftily found a way to install all this modern equipment on a... Uh, on a very basic uh, fishing boat. But um, as you guys know, the Bass Tracker Classic XL is, is the pretty much entry level boat for fishing. And uh, somehow they were able to uh, to pull it off miraculously. But um, I ended up, uh, well, first of all, I started with the Minkota Edge 45 pound thrust. I also had um, a single battery back there um, I also had a uh, Lowrance Hooks 4 fish finder, which was very, very basic. It came with the boat, and uh, I ended up upgrading to the Garmin Force trolling motor and the uh, two Garmin Ecomap 106 SV 10.5 inch monitors at the console as well as uh, at the front of the boat. I also upgraded from a two bank uh, cell charger to a three bank cell charger, added another battery and added a power kill switch. So uh, that being said, let me show you some of the upgrades that they did. And uh, I haven't got to use anything yet. It hasn't even been, hasn't even touched the water yet. So um, I'll eventually post another review and and let you guys know how uh, how this equipment operates. But I ended up being sold on the Garmin for the pan optics feature. And um, I thought it was very unique. Uh, and I also like uh, the information that I found on the Garmin Force as far as its usability and uh, uh, bang for the buck. So let's uh, turn this around. And that is what the new monitor looks like so here you got your 10 and a half inch screen and uh, it's booting up right now and as you can see it's all networked I don't know if you guys can see that but I also got a recessed foot pedal recessed housing for my new foot pedal and the trolling motor is significantly significantly bigger than the Minkota Edge uh, 45 pound thrust. I'll get you guys a close up later, but I just wanted to give you guys a, a close up of what that looks like. Of course, it's not in the water, but um, you know, you got uh, no hard to see there, but Obviously pan optics doesn't work because I have three transducers now. I have a pan optic pan optics transducer in the front. And then I have another one at the bottom of the trolling motor. And then another one at the back of the boat. So you got charts, sonar, pan optics combo. Um, there's not much digital stuff on this boat, but um, you know, for another boat, there's for anything that's got digital controls, that's where you would connect your gauges. Um, also, I downloaded the Active Active Captain app. Um, you can synchronize your rat, your routes, and uh, um, haven't done too much experimentation. I'm just getting familiar with all that right now. But you can also customize your home. So let me show you what the front of the boat looks like. Got the recessed foot pedal. It's also wireless, but preferred wired. I didn't want to put any batteries in there. Um, this is the north button. This is the main reason why I upgraded because of spot lock. <coughs> Excuse me. 
and this is the intermittent button. You have your power. And there's the trolling motor. <coughs> Excuse me. Obviously, it's big. I went 24 volt. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Here's the Panoptics transducer. Transducer right here. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Got your propeller. Very, very clean. There's two hydraulics in there. And when you deploy it, it's very, very smooth. Very smooth. All right. So it's a little scratchy there. Very, very huge upgrade. So, <coughs> to the back of the boat, one with the Promar 15 amp, three bank charger, I have a kill switch. We also added another battery right there. So, kind of went uh, all out there, folks. But this is my dream right here. and. Just wanted to share you guys. I'm gonna post another video to let you guys know how it goes as far as using it. I have not put this in the water yet. So if you guys have any comments, um, any tips, uh, I'm obviously gonna start to learning it, learn it. I'm, I'm going through the user manuals right now, but in the interim, if you have any comments, please drop a comment, uh, like, and subscribe at Local Boys Fish. Thank you.